What is up, everyone? It's Sam here at Lip Park Ranger on Twitter. So I just wanted to tell everyone about Haven. They're having a contest. See so who can get the most engagement on a video about Haven. So, you know, I figured I'd release one. I've been following this project for about two years. I've made some good money on it. So I feel like I owe that to the team to kind of get the word out. And honestly, I think it's amazing. So definitely want to tell everyone about it that I can. So pretty much why Haven? So in short, Bitcoin has two massive flaws. It fixes these problems and adds a whole new range of possibilities on top of that. So what are Bitcoin's flaws? It's not private and it's volatile. Everybody knows this. Maybe not the privacy part. I think there's a lot of misconception thinking that Bitcoin is private. It is not at all. So if an entity wants to trace your transactions, they definitely can. If you live in a third world country or you're just broke, uh, you don't want to put money in Bitcoin because it goes up and down. So if you think you might lose 50% of your investment, probably not going to, but it's happened to me. <laughs> you don't want to invest in Bitcoin, at least a sizable portion of your net worth. So it kind of makes it difficult for people in hard circumstances to invest because it's not really accessible. So pretty much how does Haven fix this? Well, firstly, let's talk about what it does. So essentially it's private and a traceable, it runs on Monero. It's a fork of Monero. If you know what Monero is, it has amazing privacy features. We can go over that in a second has a circulating supply that's not controlled by a central entity, just like Bitcoin. That's kind of what made Bitcoin big, in my opinion, with a lot of libertarians and what have you, just people who don't like money being <laughs> needlessly printed. Um, the ability to store value and avoid cryptocurrency market volatility. This is huge for Haven, allows you to store your value in assets like gold, USD, yen, whatever you want, really, that they've added into the ecosystem. So invest in assets without a centralized exchange or KYC. So you can invest in gold, silver, yen, Canadian dollars, USD, if you want to, without having to actually use an exchange. You just use your wallet that is on your computer that you own. So transact in the P2P white, gray, black market safely and anonymously. Whatever you want to buy from anyone, you can use this to buy with dollars, gold, silver. You're not actually using those, but you're using price feeds from those to basically transact in that mode of value. So again, transact in the currency or asset of your choosing. So whatever you want to transact with that isn't in the Haven ecosystem, you can trade with that on an exchange or just person to person. So privacy, Haven is a fork. It's a clone of Monero with additional functionality. They had to fork Monero in order to addition implement these additional features. So I'm not going to read you how Monero's privacy works. You can look that up on their website, but essentially no one can see how rich you are. No one can see where you send your money. No one can see where you receive your money from. So that's pretty crazy. Um, as far as how Haven makes Monero better, you can take your Haven and trade it for X assets. You can make money printer go burr. You can destroy your XHV, turn it into X gold, silver, euro, yen, USD, whatever you want um, that is in the ecosystem. Currently, there's only XUSD, so it's essentially a stable coin, an alternative to Tether that's private that you don't have to worry about Tether exploding on you overnight um, and losing your pants. So it's backed by an algorithm. So essentially, when you take your XHV and destroy it and turn it into X gold or XUSD, you're taking your XHV and you're pegging it to the price of gold USD yen, what have you. So you hold the amount of yen that is equal to the dollar value of XHV you held. So pretty much you can take your XHV, if you have $300, turn it into $300 of yen or $300 of USD, I should say. If XHV goes up and down, it doesn't matter. You can take your $300, you always have that and can turn that back into the equivalent dollar amount of XHV at any time or you can just keep the XUSD and send it, trade it, do whatever you want with that. So XHV, XHV is destroyed as you turn it into X assets. XHV supply goes down and theoretically this could cause a really cool scarcity effect, increasing the price of XHV. So if you're just a, if you're just a dirty price pumper, this is awesome for you as well. Um, but you know, be responsible. So how does Haven do this? Third party oracles send price feeds to Haven through the blockchain. So pretty much they integrate with Chainlink right now. They're adding more. Um, some people say Chainlink is a bit centralized for their taste. Honestly, the team agrees with that as well. So they're adding more. Uh, but really, this is how they get their price feeds. 
for their X assets. Do more research on Chainlink if you want to understand how that works. Basically, it sends the prices validated by their blockchain to Haven, and Haven uses that to interpret the price of gold, yen, USD, etc. So, new access assets are created through the Haven Vault wallet. So that's just a vault wallet. It's your wallet on your phone, computer, web. Um, yeah, and you can turn your XHV into USD or gold there, or you can trade for it on an exchange. So really, what does all this mean? It means that there's now a safe, private, and stable, and decentralized way to store value. Uh, you, you can, Bitcoin was safe, and it was decentralized, but it's not private, and it's not stable. And I think that's really what people wanted out of crypto. They wanted a safe, private, stable, and decentralized way to store value and make transactions. So this solves all those problems. This should easily be the biggest crypto around. Um, you know, I'm sure you hear that all the time. Oh, this one's the new Ethereum, this one's the new Bitcoin. But honestly, some of them do solve legitimate problems, but this actually solves real world problems, not just technological problems for people who care about crypto. You cannot enter any market you desire without the worry of being surveilled. Trade whatever you want with anyone, and no one will know that you're doing it. You can invest in any asset that Haven adds to the vault without using a centralized exchange. If you want to hold gold, but you don't want to hold physical gold, and you don't want to buy gold from a bank that you don't actually own it, you can use Haven. You still don't own it physically, but I personally th think it's better that I at least hold something I can claim that no one else has the rights to claim. I suppose you could bring up safety concerns regarding the code for this, but it's been audited by Slowmist, which is pretty much the gold standard when it comes to code audits. So everything makes sense. If you want to do more research, go to havenprotocol.org, follow me on Twitter. Honestly, I don't even post about crypto that much. I don't really post that much at all, but this is huge for me. Uh, I've probably done a 10x on my investment so far, so I'm going to stay in it. And honestly, I think this has real world use case for me. So, you know, if you like it, check it out.